Welcome back to my channel. So today I will be doing a very quick review on my pink Chanel Trendy CC quilted lambskin wallet on chain bag with gold hardware. I believe this bag was part of the summer 2022 collection, but I just feel like it's so hard to figure out the dates for Chanel bags nowadays, especially when they changed it into the metal chip system because the serial number no longer goes by the date code, I think. And I think the only way to figure out the date is by looking at that re little retail tag you'll see in store and some essays will give it to you some won't but anyway so I purchased this bag back in April of 2022 so earlier this year I got it at Bellagio store and the retail price at that time was 3550 US dollars. So this is one of my all-time favorite, favorite, favorite bags. I love how lightweight it is and I love the structure of it. What I also adore is that although this is a wallet on chain bag, it looks so much different than the other regular wallet on chain bags that we always see. And the fact that it comes with a twist opening and closure and a metal plate on top just makes this bag so much more special. So you can wear this bag two ways, either as a shoulder bag or you can elongate the straps and make it into a crossbody. So now let's take a look inside and be prepared to be shocked by just how many compartments there are inside. Once opened, the first thing you'll see is the zipper compartment up top, which is pretty standard for all Chanel flat bags. Next, we have the main compartment with six card slots. These black cards were from when I purchased the bag. I totally forgot to take them out. So moving along, there are three pockets, one over here. The other one has a zipper opening and the last one is towards the front of the bag. It doesn't really hold much in here, but say you have some band-aids or hair ties or like something flat, like a business card, etc. I think it's the perfect place for it. This compartment keeps all the small knickknacks out of the way, but at the same time, still keeping it super accessible. There are virtually no cons to this bag as it's just super easy to carry out and it's highly functional. But if I do have to point out a couple of shortcomings, I feel like it would be the scratches, color transfer, and a leather creasing. There used to be a protective tape on the metal plate before and it took me the longest time to finally take it off. But after removing it, I immediately started seeing scratches, which is inevitable unfortunately. But if it's any consolation, you can only see the scratches from certain angles. What I mean is if you look directly straight at the plate in person, you won't really be able to see any of the scratches. But if you look at it from like an angle, say like you tilt it a little bit, then yeah, the scratches does become a little bit more obvious. The second con with these light colored leather bags is the risk of color transfer, which is a huge thing that we should all look out for and i actually just had the biggest most terrifying color transfer experience of my life uh, when i was vacationing in new york city so here's a little backstory but i was never really a jeans girl i always wear dresses and if i do wear pants it's either leather pants or leggings but i decided to wear black jeans that day and i used this bag without thinking that there might be an issue of color transfer so for the entire day my bag was just rubbing against my jeans back and forth back and forth i was on this busy street when i found out that the back of my bag was completely ruined by black dye unfortunately i didn't get to take a picture because at that point i was freaking out and honestly i almost bursted out crying on the streets like i, I felt like i died a little bit inside so I forgot to take pictures, but honestly, I regret it so much not taking pictures at that time because I could have shown you guys how bad it was and it was just a great educational moment. <laughs> but anyway, so I was actually able to remove most of the color transfer spots with soap and water when I got back to the hotel. There's still some very light spots on the bag, especially around the edges and also on the chain. But honestly, I'm just grateful at this point that I was able to get most of them off and the bag still looks pretty new and looked like it never went through that color transfer nightmare. So the last con that I can think about is that lambskin is actually pretty delicate. I actually don't use this bag that frequently, but you can already see 
creases over here um, where the bag bends. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. If not, I'll do a close-up for you guys. A couple of very self-explanatory measures that you can take to help preserve your bag is obviously not using your bag all the time. And another thing that I like to do is I stuff all my bags with tissue paper when storing it as it helps preserve the shape and also helps the leather to not crease as easily. Okay, so this sums up my quick review of this bag, which I hope you enjoyed. And if you are new to my channel, my name is Olivia and I make content related to luxury item reviews, lifestyle vlogs, and an occasional ASMR luxury unboxing. So if you're also into content like that, please do give me a like and subscribe. It will help my small channel a lot. Yeah, so let me know in the comment section what you guys love about the wallet on chain bag or what you dislike about it. And until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Please take care and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.